Hi, Steve and Scott from Banner Engineering. We're gonna spend a little bit of time on basic safety light curtain operation, uh, terminology, uh, implementation. Safety light curtains have been used for a long time in safeguarding applications, but there's certainly a lot more complexity to a safety light curtain than there is a simple photoelectric sensor. Steve, can you take us through some very basic um, safety light curtain terminology and uh, basic theory behind them. I sure can, Scott. Thanks. When we're talking about the question of what is a safety light curtain, really all it is is a curtain of light, if you will, made of opposed beams uh, that are in here where uh, you're including redundant circuits within a safety rated light curtain. And it's going to react from on to off whenever you block any section of that beam of light, if you will, in there. So I have one in front of me. Uh, why use a safety rated curtain? This really is meant to safeguard somebody that is in that area that needs to either uh, reach through the area to load parts or whatever the case may be. And it's just meant to interrupt the circuit until they clear that curtain again. And it's designed and tested to meet all of the safety standards, control reliability, international standards by having those redundant circuits in there. And there are different types of curtains. There's a type four and a type two, depending on what's internal in there. And I'll show you a slide that kind of compares type two to type four. All right, there is, uh, the question comes up, well, why can't I use just normal photoelectrics? And the standards do define that you need to have something that's safety rated in the, t in the fact that there needs to be redundancy in there. Just using normal photoelectrics for hazard protection is not allowed. It can be used in other areas such as muting sensors and that type of thing, but not for the primary safety. Okay, where is the safety li uh, light curtain needed? Once again, I mentioned the fact that it's point of operation, which is a term that just means that I need to be in front of this light curtain to load parts, pull them out, so I need to have that protection and shut things down as I do that until I clear the curtain again. Otherwise, there's going to be access protection for areas that are much larger, where now instead of guards or gates or doors, we need that open area to be able to get inside and outside with pallets or whatever the case may be. So this is where grids are typically used and we need to know that we're at that safety distance. Steve, what about applications that may involve things like high heat or maybe products being ejected from a process? Are those a good place to employ a safety light curtain uh, for safeguarding there? That's a great question, but a lot of times ejected materials that are coming out of those type of applications are going to affect the light curtain. You're going to be constantly turning it on and off whenever there is an injection of a part that goes through there. So a lot of times hard guarding might be the better application for that. But there's also been times when you can add with a little bit of logic in some of these safety controllers where you can add a little bit of off delay and that off delay could be set so that it will ignore those real quick interruptions of the uh, of the light curtain beam. Yep, that can work. All right. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome.